Recently, there's been a change in how students choose to reminisce on their college days. The yearbook may soon be a thing of the past. Washburn is one of thousands of universities trying to decide whether to continue publishing a yearbook or closing the cover for good, literally, on a tradition that has been part of preserving college memories for more than a century. Mallory Looney, chief editor of the Washburn Yearbook Call, says that both budget and technology are to blame. Well, we've had a print yearbook for, we're on our 109th edition, um, but due to money issues and technology and everything, um, we'll probably have one this year's yearbook and one more, and then we'll probably go to a full online version of our yearbook. Over the years, the call has seen many changes, including this year's edition, which presented the first all-color publication. Despite all the positive changes, sales are still down. Student Brian Cervantes is positive about the yearbook transitioning to online, as he says most people prefer online viewing. It's like, it's probably better because then more people would access it because more people go online and do things online anyways. I mean, pretty much our lives are online. Despite the fact that most students are choosing to access college memories online, there are students like Ivan Moya who prefer tradition. What makes this one really special for me is that it was illustrated by our famed alum, uh, Bradbury Thompson. And, you know, just knowing that there's so much history in this, to me, it would be... A little unfortunate if we got rid of the paper one because, I don't know, there's something about actually holding the book and looking back through time and saying, wow, that's what Washburn was. The call is already starting the process of moving your books online and could cease publication in the next year or two. Anyone interested in purchasing should visit student media located in the Union. For the Washburn Review Online, this is Jennifer Lauber.